Bungie was back this week to give us their weekly dose of news, and today I'm going to round all that up, including the new Power Climb coming in Witch Queen, Gunsmith Changes, also we've got Hawkmoon and DMT moving to Zur, and finally we've got news about the new raid. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, let's kick off with the power is yours. So in the realm of Destiny, power is not only a measurement of your Guardian's general abilities, but a consistent gauge for players on whether or not they'll be able to tackle a given challenge. So while the Witch Queen won't feature a big overhaul to the ways in which you gain power, we do have some general updates coming on launch day to get returning and new players ready for a fresh campaign. But first of all, let's talk about some definitions. So some of you may know these by heart, but we are always excited to introduce new lights and returning players to information like this. So first of all, we've got the floor, so the lowest possible power for a piece of gear and the starting point for new characters. We've got the soft cap. This is the point where general drops stop being automatic upgrades and powerful gear drops are now the best way to gain power. Then we've got the power cap, so the point at which powerful drops stop being upgraded, and pinnacle gear drops are now the only way to gain power. And then you've got the hard cap, so the max possible power from pinnacle drops, ignoring artifact power. So starting on February the 22nd, the power floor will be updated to 1350, and any player who signs in will be at the appropriate power level to start the Witch Queen campaign, even if they've taken a recent break from the game. Through general gameplay, players can reach the soft cap of 1500 by earning general gear through activity completions, chests and more, so that includes rare and legendary drops. And once reaching the soft cap, players will need to earn powerful drops from vendor challenges and other objectives in the game. And once reaching the power cap of 1550, the, the only upgrades that players will find are from endgame activities that offer pinnacle rewards. And your final stretch to the hard cap of 1560 will be through raids, Trials of Osiris, Iron Banner, and other endgame PvE sources. There will be some adjustments to pinnacle and powerful sources, as this shift yearly to focus on newer seasonal content and fresh Destiny 2 expansion content offered with the Witch Queen. So keep an eye on the tooltips as you start completing activities, as they will specifically note the different types of rewards that they offer. And we have no doubt that the more eager players will create guides within a week of launch, but we hope that the power climb is fairly easy to understand once you get your boots onto the ground on February 2022. Well, next up, we've got designing an economy is easy, right? Well, the short answer is absolutely not. You know, nothing in game design is easy, especially when tackling the various currencies and exchanges that Destiny 2 offers. Well, this week, we're going to be diving in with economy feature lead Joshua Kalinsky, speaking to some exciting changes on behalf of the team. So Joshua goes on to say, beginning in the Witch Queen, blue or rare rewards will stop dropping from playlist activities like Crucible, Strikes, Gambit, etc. once players have reached the soft cap. So players above the soft cap, that's 1500 power in the Witch Queen, will instead see a slightly increased chance of receiving legendary rewards from these activities or a small amount of legendary shards. So blue weapons and armour will continue to drop from enemies and chests while playing Destiny 2, but we hope that this will reduce the need for players to manage their inventories and reduce the frequency of visits to the Postmaster when running playlist activities. We do have some work ahead of us when it comes to rarity as a subject in Destiny 2. You know, while blue gear helps players increase power earlier in the game, we want to look at their place in the overall game. You know, aren't expecting any major changes in the next few seasons, but we will be spending some time behind the scenes thinking about the future of rare drops all up. Well, next up, we've got Gunsmith Reputation. So Banshee44 is getting a new reputation system that matches the other vendors in the tower, such as Zavala and Shax. So that means we're removing some of the items that were previously associated with the Gunsmith Reputation, namely Gunsmith Materials and Weapon Telemetries. So players will now be able to earn Reputation Rank progress with Banshee44 when dismantling legendary and exotic weapons and armor and by completing daily Gunsmith bounties. So players will want to spend their gunsmith materials and weapon telemetries at Banshee 44 before February the 22nd, 2022. And any materials that are not spent will be removed from the inventory automatically. Well, next up we've got mod and mod components. So we're also going to be removing mod components from the game. Starting in the Witch Queen, weapon and armor mods sold by Banshee 44 and Ada 1, respectively, will no longer require mod components to purchase and will instead cost 10,000 glimmer each. 
Furthermore, as a part of this update, we're increasing the number of mods available for each vendor at a single time from 2 to 4. And before we move on, it should be noted that all ghost mods that generate weapon telemetries will be removed as they no longer serve a purpose. So these mods include Arc Analyzer, Solar Analyzer, Void Analyzer, Omni Telemetry and Banshee Special. Well next up Rahul is getting a promotion so we've got Rahul taking over. So as we mentioned in the past, Master Rahul will be inheriting Spider's material exchange duties in the Witch Queen. So exchange rates should match what you know from Spider for now, but these services are being shifted to the tower as the Tangled Short will soon be off limits to Guardians. In addition, Rahul will also be picking up some of the wares that Banshee 44 and Ada 1 once offered, specifically the sale of Enhancement Prisms and Ascendant Shards. So as noted above, this makes space for more mods to be purchased during a given week, and Rahul will offer these materials at the same price as Banshee 44 and Ada 1 once sold them. As a final note, before we move on to some exotic news, Master Rahul will also be able to decrypt Umbral Engrams, so players won't have to hop between the helm and the tower to decrypt all of their engrams in their inventories. So focusing for individual seasonal weapons and armor will live on the seasonal vendors in the helm moving forward. So if you want to focus on a specific weapon from the given season, you still need to head to the helm for decryption. Well, next up, we got news on the Hawkmoon and Dead Man's Tale. So as of February 2022, the Harbinger and Presage exotic missions will no longer be accessible, so the team still wanted to preserve the ability for players to obtain random rolls from these weapons. Therefore, instead of adding them to the Monument to Lost Lights, as we have done with most of our previous exotics that no longer have sources, these two weapons will show up as part of Zur's inventory each weekend. So every week, Zur will offer a unique roll for both Hawkmoon and Deadman's Tail, and it will be purchasable for all players that own Beyond Light for the following material. So one Ascendant Shard, one Exotic Cipher, 125,000 Glimmer, and 200 Legendary Shards. And wait, before you go, what about those exotic catalysts? Now, this is a question that I get a lot in the comments. You know, how do I get the Outbreak Perfected and Whisper of the Worm Catalyst? Well, here is your answer. We've been waiting about a year for this, so finally, we've got that news. So the Hawkmoon, DMT, and Agus Scepter Catalyst will be moved to the playlist activities, so Strikes, Crucible, and Gamut Completions. In addition to these three, We've also added the ability for three catalysts that have been absent for Destiny 2 to drop from playlist activities as well. So the full list that you can get from Strikes, Crucible and Gambit include Hawkmoon, Dead Man's Tail, Agus Scepter, Outbreak Perfected, Whisper of the Worm and finally the fourth Horseman. So Outbreak Perfected and Whisper of the Worm had both the requirements for completing their catalyst updated so they could be completed without access to the original activities. Well finally in the news today we've got save the raid date so the Witch Queen has a new raid, and while we've got a bit of time before the World First Race begins, we wanted to get a rally flag planted in the sand for when you should be expected to take on that challenge. So Destiny 2, the Witch Queen Redacted Raid, that is on March the 5th, 2022, and that is going to be 10am Pacific Time, or 6pm, that is UTC. So we're going to have additional details on contest mode, bungee rewards, and other need-to-know information closer to the date. Until then, getting those time-off requests... So if you're still in school, we do not advise faking sit notes from doctors or lying to your parents to stay home. Go to class, do your homework, ace those tests, be a good student and, and conquer the raid boss that is that essay due next week. So raid prep can be an evening activity and you know, we're going to be proud of you either way. Well, let me know what you think of that in the comments. You know, are you excited for the raid and what do you think about the economy changes? Well, that is it for all the latest Destiny 2 news. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great weekend.